Hey everyone, we're talking about converting place value. And here's what that means. They might ask you, I have two hundreds, and they would say, how many tens is that? And you'd say, okay, well, we have the hundreds here, but let's pretend that you only had tens blocks. Can you make 200 with tens blocks? Yes, you can, and how many would it take? That's all it's asking you. If I gave you a thousand, how many hundreds would it take to make this? If I had two of these, how many hundreds would you need? Or they might give you a 10 and say, how many ones is that? So first I'll demonstrate with base 10 blocks and then we will do some of the problems in the worksheets. So let's say the question said, I have a two in the hundreds place, two hundreds, and they say, how many tens is that? All they're asking you is how many of these tens it would take to fill up 200. So I'm going to demonstrate that like this. So I filled up 100 flat and now I'm going to fill up the second one. So I have a two in the hundreds place. How many tens is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Two hundreds is 20 tens. Now it might ask you how many ones is that? And if it says, okay, I have two hundreds, how many ones is that? Then it's asking you how many ones do you need to fill this up? So instead of using this, I'm using this. So it's going to take 10 times more to fill this up than this or fill up with this. So then it's asking how many of these little yellows do I need to fill up a hundred flat and then another hundred flat to make 200? Well, I'm not gonna do that because it would take forever, but you can imagine just counting these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know how many there are. How many ones are there in a hundred? 100. So to fill up two hundreds with ones, you would need 200 of these. You would only need 20 of these, but you need 200 of these. So they say, I have a two in the hundreds place. How many tens is that? It's 20. How many ones is that? It's 200. Okay, let's do another one. It might say, I have a two in the tens place. How many ones is that? So you have tens and they're asking you how many ones would equal that. So you would just use your ones. You can count them too. All right, so one ten is 10 ones. That's how many ones I put there. And then another 10 would also be 10 ones. So we're going to use this strategy when we work on bigger numbers and bigger problems too. So we're just going to do a few of these to get us started. There are a couple strategies and then there's a shortcut with the place value chart. And we are going to use the shortcut because you need it once you get into really big numbers. So the first question says 110 is how many ones? One strategy is to get out your base 10 blocks if you have them and actually make a 10 out of ones and figure out how many you need it. Another strategy is to count them. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 ones in a 10. Strategy two is to use the place value chart. This is the shortcut. So here's how you do it. 1, 10. So put a 1 in the tens place and zeros after. It's asking you how many ones. So you just go down to the ones place and circle. The answer is 10. Let's keep using that strategy with the next one. 5 tens equals how many ones? So you can count all these if you want to. You could color code them. You could do blue, red, that's 2, 3, Four. You can count them all if you want to. You could build 
five of these out of ones. Um, if you count this, you're going to get 50. There's 50 of them there because there's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's how many ones it would take to build this. But let's use the shortcut. So five tens, put a five in the tens place and zeros after because five tens is 50. And the question is how many ones is that? Go down to the ones place and circle. 50. That's the shortcut. Seven tens equals how many ones? So we could count them again. We could count all of these. You could color them. I'm going to use a shortcut. Seven tens. So put a seven in the tens place. That's 70. How many ones is that? Go down to the ones place and circle. And here's why. If you have seven tens, there's ten ones in each one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you did this seven times, you'd have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, seven times. Seven times 10 is 70. So the reason we're using the shortcut is once you get into bigger numbers, it helps you a lot. So let's do one with hundreds. Okay. 100 is how many tens? Now you can color this if you want. It's just asking you how many tens does it take? to make a hundred. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It takes ten tens to make a hundred, which makes sense because ten times ten is a hundred. Looking at the worksheet though, if you want, you can stripe it. So tens are in rods, so there's one, two, so you can color the tens and visualize it like this. How many tens did it take to make that hundred? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's your answer. But let's do the shortcut, okay? So one hundred. Put a hundred into the place value chart. That means you'd put a one in the hundreds place, but then you'd fill in the zeros after. And you can look at that number and see a hundred. Great. It is asking you how many tens. So you're going to go down to the tens place and stop. That means you need to ignore the rest. Go down to the tens place and stop and circle. One hundred is ten tens. Let's keep going. 300 is how many tens. Now, if you want to stripe these, you can, and you can count them all individually, because that's all it's asking. It's saying how many of these rods would you need to make a hundred, and then make another hundred, and then make another hundred. So that's one strategy. You can count them all. The other strategy is to use the place value chart. So put 300 into the place value chart. 300. It's asking tens. So you're going to just go down to the tens, which means you need to ignore everything after it. Go start at the three, go down to the tens, stop, and circle, or square in this case. Answer, 30. And if you count these, you would get 30. And if I took 30 of these, I could make three hundreds. So if you wanted to count each stripe all the way, you'd get 30. Three hundreds is how many ones? Okay, so we still got 300, but now we're saying how many of these? Oh my goodness, would it take to fill up one, two, three hundreds? If I really wanted to, to spend a whole afternoon, I could fill up this whole flat with ones. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but you can also count them on here if you really want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, but you don't need to do that. It's asking how many individual bricks you have there. So let's use the place value chart. Put three hundred into it. And then it's asking for ones this time. So you're gonna go start at the three, go all the way down to the ones and stop. And circle. Three hundreds is three hundred. Once. Now let's do it with some that we don't have blocks for. Some bigger, bigger numbers. Well, I guess I have some thousand blocks, but these are a little trickier. Three thousands is how many hundreds? So that would be if I had three of these. 
how many hundreds do I need to fill it up and then fill it up again and then again for to make three okay so I can imagine some blue I know I'm using red but I can imagine you know each slice of this being one of these blue blocks here but that would be kind of an optical illusion and kind of hard to really imagine it. So there's one, there's another. If you're lining them up like this until you get up to a block and then you do it again. But I'm just going to use the chart instead. Okay, It's a lot easier and it's a lot faster. Three thousands equals how many hundreds? So first we put a three into the thousands place and followed up with some zeros. So we have three thousand in the place value chart. It is asking how many hundreds, so we're just going to go down to the hundreds place and stop. So go down to the hundreds and then stop, which means I'm covering up the other places. And circle. Three thousands is thirty hundreds. That means I would need thirty of these to make three of these, which makes sense because I would need ten to make one, and then ten to make another one, and then ten to make a third one. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Okay, let's do one with an even bigger number. 30 thousands is how many, or three, yeah, 30 thousand, which is three ten thousands, is how many tens? Okay, 10,000 blocks don't exist. So we're gonna use the place value chart now. So all we're gonna do is put 30 thousand into the place value chart. So that means you put a three in the ten thousands place, or you can count from the right and go zero, 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 three. That's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four zeros. Comma. Oh, I put the comma in the wrong spot. Sorry about that. And then a three. Thirty thousand is how many tens? So how many of these would you need to make thirty thousand? Oh my goodness. So we're going to use our shortcut. Starting at the three, go down to the tens and stop, which means I'm covering up everything after it. So my answer is three, zero, 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 and then go one, two, three, comma, three thousand. I would need three thousand of these to get up to thirty thousand. One more. 400,000, wow, we're in the hundred thousands, is how many hundreds? So 400,000 is a pretty big number and we're asking how many hundreds would you need to make that number, wow. Step one, put it into the place value chart. One, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros and a four. And another way to do this is to say, okay, well, it's 400,000. So you put a four in the hundred thousands and then fill in your zeros. One, two, three, comma. And that matches that. Great. How many is it, or what place is it asking us for? Hundreds. So start at the four, go down to the hundreds and stop. So I'm covering all of these. I'm including the hundreds. Circle, Great, and there's my answer. Four, zero, zero, zero. You gotta ignore that comma because the number has changed. One, two, three. Now put your in, in your own comma. One, two, three, comma, 4,000. So I would need 4,000 of these to make 400,000. So that is how you convert between uh, place value. Remember, all it's doing is asking you, you know, if you were trying to make a big number but you only had small blocks how many of them would you need to create that but you can use the place value chart to help you quite a bit all right i hope that helps